in the last section, we started off on OSI layer three and you learned about IP addresses and how we can combine those with the subnet mask to define the boundaries between our logical networks. In this section, we're still going to be on layer three, but we're going to go much deeper into how we can control the boundaries between our networks with the use of subnetting. Now, if you've heard about this already, you've maybe heard it's one of the more complicated sections to learn for CCNA, but don't worry, we're going to go through it step by step. I'm going to show you loads of examples. I'm going to get you to work through examples as well. And by the time we're done, you're going to have this down.